Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading. Uh, will my ex return for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 2021? So these are the Aries individuals that are currently entertaining the idea of uh, reconciling with an ex or an ex wanting to reconcile with you, or both of you are entertaining the idea of reconciliation. So uh, we are gonna take a look at both of your mutual energies and see, and then we'll see what happened to you guys in the recent past or in the past to uh, cause a separation. Uh, and then we'll see if there's gonna be reconciliation be uh, between you guys. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video with someone if you feel like there is someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And um, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message uh, resonated. Uh, those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, Aries, so let's get started. Alright, tell me what is the current mutual energies between Aries and their ex. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 2021. And guys, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation, and also you can flip the roles if you want. Alright, current mutual energies between Aries and their ex, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 2021. We have the magician here, Gemini energy, Virgo energy. So uh, you could have that in your chart. Could be dealing with someone that has that in their chart. We have the Ace of Wands. So we do have someone here that's trying to manifest a passionate new beginning here. So this could be, you know, the both of you guys that want that. We're just either or, you know. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, strength card. Uh, Leo energy could be dealing with the Leo. You might have Leo in your chart. We have the chariot here, Cancer energy. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. And the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, someone here is trying to manifest commitment, marriage here. There's a sense of wanting to take things to the next level, moving forward. Um, basically, rebuilding this relationship stronger than it was before so like i said aries you could want this or your person could want this or that both of you want this mutually so like i said apply this to your own unique situation okay why is the magician here why is this magician here Magician in the Seven of Wands. I feel like we have someone here that's wanting to fight for this connection. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Ace of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like someone here really wants this. Like I said, it could be you. It could be other person. The other person. It could be mutually uh, that you guys want this, but. You know, I feel like there is still this energy of perhaps weighing the pros and the cons here, whether to restart this or let this go. Why is the strength card here? Strength card and justice. I mean, we have someone here that really strongly here wants to make things right. We have the, uh, tell me about the chariot here. 
the Chariot and the Knight of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with another Sag or another fire sign here. I mean, we have someone here that is rushing in for a new beginning. Someone here hasn't been able to let you go. We have someone here that's in love with you, uh, Aries, or vice versa. You could both be, or, or mutually. Why is the Hierophant here? Hierophant and the Nine of Cups. I mean, we have someone here that's in love with you. We have someone here that is wanting to take things to the next level here. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles and a Three of Swords. So I feel like this person might be in a lot of pain for perhaps hurting you, betraying you here, betraying this connection. I feel like someone here is not really doing well without you here. I feel like this, I feel like this person hurts as each day goes by being without you. There could be lies, there could have been lies and deception surrounding this relationship here. Could have been dealing with someone here that's younger than you. Um, you know, it seems like there was a huge tarot moment. There was there was a swift change here. And I feel like what changed was maybe some sort of secret was revealed. Maybe you guys were fighting about it. Aries, there you are here. So it seems like someone here got left out in the cold. Someone here could have been selfish. Yeah, someone here might have been self-absorbed, only looking out for themselves. So Aries, you could have been dealing with a person that's like that. You could be like that. Like I said, just apply this to your own, to your own unique situation here. All right, tell me what happened recently or in the past to cause a separation between Aries and their ex. Yeah, we'll, we'll dive in deeper to see what causes separation here. What causes separation between Aries and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 2021. Okay. So we have the Six of Wands here. I mean, I feel like th th there could have been a situation here where maybe this connection was slow to reach, uh, uh, you know, success and victory here because uh, perhaps we had someone here that was unsure whether they wanted this or not. Someone here could have made you wait. Someone here could have left you out in the cold. Someone here could have left you. Um, you could be dealing with someone here that's incredibly indecisive, um, uh, Aries. All right, four of wands. You could, be, you could have been dealing with a twin flame here. Ace of cups. There's a lot of love here. You know, I feel like I, I, I feel like the goal is to get to the four of wands, to the ten of cups. Or, or to a ton of pentacles, but it, it just seemed like it went really, really slow because of some, uh, because of someone's uh, indecisiveness. Because it seems like someone here wanted it and then didn't want it too. We have temperance here, Sagittarius energy. Maybe you were dealing with a Sag here. That's a strength card again showing up. So Leo energy. We have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like you could have been dealing with someone here that has been very in and out of your life. Someone here who is incredibly flighty. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, and a Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you were dealing with someone that was like, yes, 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 I want this. Then like, no, 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 just kidding. And then yes, 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 I want this. And then no, 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 I'm just kidding. So it could have been this like back and forth. It could have been just back and forth. So I feel like the person that was indecisive with you, perhaps they're manifesting, trying to manifest a reconciliation, 
but then at the same time, I feel like they're still unsure. But the thing I, I, I feel like with this person, I feel like this person can't live without you. Why is this four of wands here? Why is this four of wands here? Why is this four of wands here? Four of wands and eight of swords. You know, I feel like maybe this person had a fear of losing their freedom or something like that. They didn't want to feel confined to a relationship. I feel like this person didn't want to feel trapped. Why is this uh, Ace of Cups here? Ace of Cups and the Chariot. Could be a situation where maybe this relationship moved really quickly. I mean, this person kind of love-bombed you to sort of like get things going in a way, sort of seal the deal sort of thing. But it could be a situation where this person just wanted you so badly, but has no intentions of actually taking things to the next level here. So this person wanted you selfishly in a way. Uh, why is temperance here? Temperance and the Five of Pentacles. You know, I feel like this person had, sort of came and gone multiple times, and I feel like this person left you alone for you to heal. And I feel like you did do the work to heal many times, but every time this person comes back, this person sets you back in a way. Because all the wounds are brought up again, you know, you give this person another chance and then you get hurt again and then you have to do it all over again. Why is this a uh, strength card here? Strength and a queen of wands here. So could be dealing with a Leo here. I just feel like we have someone here maybe that just didn't have what it takes to be in a, re in a relationship, perhaps. Okay, I feel like the person that was unsure was maybe this emperor here. I mean, we have the Emperor and Two of Pentacles. I mean, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Maybe this Queen of Wands was juggling this Emperor with someone else, perhaps. Maybe there was someone else in the picture. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Knight of Swords in the Tower. Aries, Scorpio energy. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? The Ten of Pentacles in the Moon. Oh. They're all, you know, I feel like this person could have also been juggling you and another person. This person could have been hiding that they were in another relationship here. This person might have been playing maybe both sides of the fence here. Um, it seems like they were committed somewhere else and they kept that from you. That could have caused a separation here too. Yeah, it just seems as though this person couldn't commit to you because of that. Now they're wanting commitment here. I mean, there's a possibility that this person could be leaving their commitment to be with you. All right, will there be reconciliation between Aries and their ex? Will there be reconciliation between Aries and their ex? For October 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles again. We have the Death card, Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. You might have Scorpio in your chart. We have the Devil here. Capricorn energy. We have the Emperor. Aries energy. So, could be dealing with someone who might be a bit narcissistic here. Because it just seems like this person, we have some threes here. So, this is definitely maybe a third party situation. Um, yeah, we have the Queen of Wands again. So, will there be reconciliation? This person might also be into the same sex too. So um, just apply this to your own unique situation. 
Um, will there be reconciliation? I'm not really feeling that. I'm not really feeling that. Let's see, why is this 10 of pentacles here? The thing is, it, the thing is I feel like someone here is not going to end their current commitment to be with you. I feel like they might think about it, but uh, it just doesn't seem like it will happen. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers, Gemini energy. So whatever this is, this is a strong soul tie. Why is this uh, Death card here? The Death card and Six of Pentacles. We have someone here who's, who's incredibly selfish and sneaky here. We have someone here that's going to continue to breadcrumb you. This person's not going to leave their current commitment for you, Aries. The Devil, Seven of Swords. Yeah, we have someone here that has lied to you, breadcrumbed you. I feel like it will still continue. This person is going to continue to keep trying. Uh, the Emperor and the High Priestess. I mean, we have someone here that's keeping a lot of secrets, keeping their intentions. Uh, I feel like this person just comes back to soothe their egos. Uh, why is the uh, Three of Pentacles here? The Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Queen of Wands in the Wheel of Fortune. So we have a Queen here, you know... We do have a Queen here, perhaps, perhaps you know, this Queen of Wands is you, Aries. Perhaps you're, you're moving on, uh, seeking a relationship elsewhere because you're not going to get it with this Emperor here. So... It seems like this person does want to reconcile. It seems like this person, you know, perhaps fantasizes about being in a relationship with you, but they're still not willing to leave their current relationship to be with you. And this person has come in and out of your life. Perhaps every time you come in, this person comes in, you're sort of like, oh, maybe this person does really want to be with me, but then they leave. So Aries, if this resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video with someone, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, bye.